is low white blood cell count bad? If you've recently had a blood test and were told you have a low white blood cell count, you might be wondering what this means and whether it's something to worry about. Let's break it down. White blood cells, or WBCs, are an essential part of your immune system. They help your body fight off infections and diseases. A low white blood cell count, also known as leukopenia, means you have fewer of these cells than what is considered normal. The normal range for white blood cells can vary slightly from one lab to another, but generally a count below 3,500 white blood cells per microliter of blood is considered low for adults. For children, the expected count depends on their age. Now why is having a low white blood cell count a concern? It makes you more vulnerable to infections. Since your body has fewer cells to fight off germs, infections can last longer and be more severe. You might notice symptoms like fever, chills, sweating, a sore throat, or mouth sores, which are all signs that your body is struggling to fight off an infection. There are several reasons why your white blood cell count might be low. Some common causes include treatments like chemotherapy and radiation therapy, which can damage the bone marrow where white blood cells are produced. Certain infections such as HIV, hepatitis, and tuberculosis can also lower your WBC count. Autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and lupus, as well as conditions like leukemia and other cancers that affect the bone marrow, can also cause low white blood cell counts. Additionally, certain medications, including some antibiotics and conditions like malnutrition or deficiencies in vitamins and minerals like vitamin B12, folate, and zinc can impact your white blood cell production. If you have a low white blood cell count, your doctor will likely monitor your condition closely with frequent blood tests. They might also perform other tests, such as bone marrow biopsies, to determine the underlying cause. Treatment for a low white blood cell count depends on the cause. If it's due to an infection, your doctor might prescribe antibiotics. If it's a side effect of medication or treatment, they might adjust your treatment plan. In some cases, medications that stimulate the production of white blood cells may be prescribed. In summary, having a low white blood cell count is not something to take lightly, as it can make you more susceptible to infections. However, with proper medical care and understanding the underlying cause, it is possible to manage and treat this condition effectively. If you notice any unusual symptoms or have concerns about your white blood cell count, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider.